Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I am bringing you my must have mods. So the last one kind of focused on mods I use while I record and things like that but this is more off screen because my game style and mod style is very much ease and kind of not so much like mermaids and suntans and things like that like mine's like I'm actually going to use these kind of things every day because they improve my game so that's my kind of style. I use MC Command Center and I use UI Cheats extensions sometimes. I have them downloaded but I don't have them in my mods folder all the time because for me I have a low to mid range computer like my computer's not the best. I've just you know I've only got like 1000 subscribers can't afford to get a computer or anything like that. I find that MC Command Center and UI Cheats extension mod it slows down my game quite a lot because they're quite big mods so I don't play with them day to day. I use them rarely. They're not going to feature in this apart from in this little introduction. So we're starting off in Create a Sim with this beautiful sim, Elise, Elisa Seals. The name was randomised. <laughs> I like um, hold my hands up and didn't make that one up. First thing you'll notice is, oh wow, what a beautiful pink background you have. Thank you, thank you. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. I hate the blue background. It looks awful and it just looks a lot like aesthetically more pleasing. So that's that mod. It'll be linked in the description bar. All the mods will. And then the next thing I'm going to show you, it is skin. I know this kind of counts as CC, but it is a default overlay. So I'm going to count it as well. So the skin that I use is default. So you don't have to like select it on a custom one. I'll just take the makeup off really quickly so you can actually see what it looks like. It's very, 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 very nice, to be honest. I really like it. It's got a bit of a fade with the lips though, so sometimes lipstick looks a little bit weird with it, but it's really, really good. And then next as well is these default eyes. I just really prefer these ones. I don't like the default EA skin and eyes. They look very, very, very plasticky to me. And uh, that's not my gameplay. Like, I like the cartoony look, but not the, not the plastic cartoony look. I like the soft cartoony look. Now on to traits. So one thing that's really 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 lacking in The Sims 4 for me is traits and aspirations and things. The Sims 3 had so many traits and it really made each sim different to the other. Sims 4 doesn't really have that. I make the same sim to do the same thing. There is a mod which is the career mod which actually means like it's for get to work so you've got the guardian of health, the hound and the top class scientist. So basically it means that like if you want to go down those careers they're your aspirations and you can level up aspirations by like helping patients or something and for me that's like yeah because if I'm going to be a doctor or a scientist that career takes so much work I'm not going to have time on my aspirations and the aspirations get really old really quick like I'm sick of picking the same family one again and again. For traits as well I've downloaded a couple of traits and these are the things that really help my gameplay like really 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 like I've said it really changes it so I've downloaded the artistic trait which for me should have been in the game anyway because not everyone who's creative is artistic correlation not causation so I've downloaded the artistic trait as well and these all come with custom buffs and things like that so things you can complete towards that random moods and things and also gamer is one which I like it's just something that it changed my sims a bit for me like usually I wouldn't think oh I'll make my sims go game but when they have the game intro I'm like oh yeah the sims a gamer probably won't go on the homework and it's just like th that line of like personality do you know what I mean as well as this we've also got eco-friendly which should have came with the laundry pack like 100% should became if you pick the straight the first showers over baths and things like that wahoo lover which I thought it was a funny one. I don't really play with promiscuous sims, but I thought, you know what, this might make me. So I downloaded that one. And also a party animal, same kind of thing. I am not a party animal. I do not leave the house. Like I leave the house two days a week for uni. That is it. But this gives the buff where if you drink anywhere, you get like a, a mood lot of it kind of thing. And also something that I can't really show you, but I can explain to you is that I have a mod as well, which randomizes traits and aspirations for your sims. And it's depending on like age, like what your parents are and things like that which for me I really 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 miss I feel too in control of my sims my sims aren't random enough because I can't control it and it's random it makes me more involved with the life like oh we'll go down this path which I never thought of going down and stuff like that so yeah there's that one as well and now to jump into gameplay. Just a little shout out. If you like these jeans, they are available on my Tumblr, plumbella.tumblr.com. We're going to jump into the careers because I've also downloaded careers because that is something that is really, really, really lacking for me in The Sims 4 as well. There's a lot more careers than what I have, but these are just my personal ones that I like. So we've got the dentist career. So self-explanatory, you can become a dentist. And we've also got the social services career, which 
It's something like kind of new to The Sims. I know it's a mod, so EA never made it. Shock horror. It's something that we haven't experienced yet. So I'm really, really, really happy about that. Another mod that I've installed, which honestly I, is the bane of my life in The Sims 4. I can't stand it. Is the faster eating and drinking mod. So this means basically it doesn't really affect my Sim right now because she's the only Sim that lives in the house. But if you have a family of people and you have a meal and it takes forever because they're talking, they're drinking and things like that. That doesn't really happen anymore so they'll take like a couple of bites and then maybe talk but it just really minimizes them actions because to be honest i'm all for multitasking but not when my sim needs to have breakfast before they go to work like come on eat it sort it out so the final one as well is the simulation like fix mod it doesn't it's not perfect right but like i'm not shaming the mod creator or anything like that it's not going to be perfect because it, it is a massive issue in the sims 4 but it just kind of takes away that lagginess when you're doing an action and they just stop and they're like headbutt like that and during the night as well when it fast forwards through the night and it just skips back a couple of hours it still happens to me a lot but less than it did like it's manageable now so yeah i know this is a really short video but thank you all very very much for watching all the links will be in the description and if you did like this video please subscribe i never say that in a video oh my god who do i think i am i haven't said that for a very long time i just usually do uh, i'll see you in my next video bye guys so yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys